After Troina, they sent us back to England. Our new CG, General Hubner, put us through the jumps again. We practiced for another beachhead. But this one we knew was going to be the payoff, the biggest show of all. The curtain went up on June 6, 1944. think of Omaha as a big town in Nebraska, not anymore. To me, it's a piece of beach in Normandy that was hell. We were getting crowd artillery, mortar, and machine gun fire like rain, without even an umbrella for protection. We came close to being rained out all right. But when Colonel Taylor of the 16th yelled, get the hell off the beach, we got the hell off and ran smack into hedgerow country where the crowd set up the fields like forts using the hedgerows for walls. It's like a Chinese puzzle out of hell. We'd clean up one field only to find out the next was loaded with Jerry. Had to keep digging all the time for cover from 88s and mortars, because if you didn't... Still in a week's time, we dug, shot, and plowed our way to Kalmont, where we waited for the other outfits to come up on our flanks. The French were tickled to see the supermen getting licked by plain American Dofi, who were human beings, too. We got a chance to clean up and tell the folks back home how we were doing. It had to be a short note, though, because a big blow-up was brewing. It came on July 25th, when it seemed the whole damn Air Corps got in on a big bust around some low. Then the infantry pulled an off-tackle play west of the town. The 4th and 9th divisions opened up a nice big hole, and the first charged through. Patton's tanks went running all over like frisky colts, chopping up the panicky Krauss. But it was the Dofoot who did the cleaning up. Combat engineers dug up mines like fat cabbages, cleared away roadblocks. And all the time, the infantry kept coming along for the final kill. It was slugging and slogging, shoot and march, grab a nap when you could, eat while you hiked, sea rations, K's, and a lot of dust. That's what the school books call victorious pursuit, eating dust. Even when they put you on trucks, you ate dust. It was a hell of a way to see La Belle France, but we sure covered ground. From Coutances in a month, we drove a right away clear across France. Through Soissons, where the Red One smeared Jerry 26 years ago. We rolled across the Belgian border. Bagged 17,000 heinies in a three-day scrap around Mons and kept scooping them up all the way to the Siegfried line. We cracked it in three days, drove a claim into Hitler's backyard around Aachen. It looked like the final round was coming up. We did some preparing. Hitler decided to hold out in Aachen pep up the Germans by making it a symbol of Nazi resistance. Gave them a slogan, too. You are fighting for the honor of the National Socialist German Army, he said. They fought hard, too. House to house. For weeks. But we had a slogan, too. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great, duty first. In the payoff, our slogan had more punch. We cleaned them out house by house, street by street, till on the 21st of October, Aachen, or what was left of it, surrendered. But 
we hadn't seen the worst yet. Hurtgen Forrest showed us that. If tree burst didn't get you, or whether did. Yeah, Hurtgen really trimmed down the outfit. But we cleaned out Jerry. Then General Andrus, our new CG, pulled us out for our first rest in six months. We couldn't believe it. Even when we got back to Verveer in Belgium, we knew it was too good to last. Well, it didn't. <laughs> 